gotta, we gotta spend some time on this. We do have to spend some time. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not really coming up too much. What, what about, about, we could ask the collective. collective. We could we ask, ask the collective. The collective, the collective does, does have some nice recommendations. recommendations. I, mean, I mean, they, they just, they just go into like, like really simple. simple. They have, um, so they have Dirty Blonde, blonde which almost sounds, sounds like a movie, movie title. title. Yeah, yeah, I like that. that. There's, There's also, also Peaches, Peaches and Cream. cream. <laughs> that one's, <laughs> that one's <laughs> not Spy bad. Kids. Oh my oh god, god, Spy Kids, kids is amazing. amazing. Spy, spy, spy Kids. kids. <laughs> Did, Did you, you watch, watch that show? show? It is, it's, it's got, got a Spy Kids vibe. vibe. I, actually I actually never saw, saw it. it. It's, it's one really of the highest grossing films, I think, from my childhood, though. Really? I believe so. I could be wrong. Spy Kids. <gasps> we could call it Strawberry Shortcake. Nah, it doesn't work too long. Nah, it doesn't work. really do it. It doesn't really do it for you. Yeah. yeah. We'll think about it. We'll, we'll get back. We'll continue to brainstorm. I mean, people are now saying L'Oreal. I don't know. Let's see whether APK can actually continue. They're good form. Moving into this game. This hybrid's going to miss his first Q. That's not a great sign for the beginning of this one. Hybrid going, going back, back to the Lethal, lethal Tempo, Tempo Ezreal. Ezreal. We've, We've seen a lot of Conqueror recently. The Lethal Tempo was the original. Since uh, Kleptomancy was no more. And uh, yeah, this is bottom lane thing, so. And the way that this game is, Ezreal, Zoe, they don't need to get ahead. But obviously you can find advantages in the bot lane. The Atrox versus Lucian is much more measured by how close can the Atrox stay to the Lucian? Yeah, it's always going to be that. And the, the other issue is that none of these laners have any CC for Elise. So, the Elise oh, wow. is yeah, very right. off-theme. Also, apart from bot lane, the Elise doesn't really serve a purpose once this game gets longer. So, Unreal Life just get massively outscaled this game. All EPK needs to do is actually not fight, not contest anything super early. There's a, there's a cloud dragon coming up first. Yeah, which does buy them a lot of time. Also, and good news for our uh, Dragon Souls as well. No uh, Cloud Souls so far today. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good dragon today. Yeah, we've been uh, we dragging them strongly. Zoe, just pushing up here against Temp. See, not too much jungle attention coming around the corner or anything like that. The cover has been playing. Very, very well. Even able to harass him down here. Picked himself up at ignite. And uh, able to stay by about half a wave. Oh, yeah. If Yumi was here instead of Rob, he called me Rocket. Yes, he came me out. Oh my god, yes. Well, that has to definitely be that, that's, that's that little that three present. present. I think I we could actually just call them Jesse 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 Jesse. Ooh, we, we could just call them Team Rocket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and they sort of shoot missiles. Like, 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 like rock. Yeah, yeah, now we're blasting off, off again. Oh, this is perfect. Let's go. Awesome. Great. Great. We found it. it. All right, Team Rocket. Stunning. And you can get the full set if it's a Yumi as well. And actually, Yumi fits into the composition very well. So. That's, That's what, what we, we want. is gonna find Haru in the jungle here. Still has to clear out his Krug camp. You see a lot of back pings there. There's a lot of red wards on the bottom side of the map. Shows exactly where they're gonna be ganging around. Because Haru can't gang around anywhere else. Well, the problem is that this is not a matchup that Iksu just naturally nullifies. This is a matchup that could be a disaster for this age. So far, the Lucian only up by about 9 CF. And I believe the wave is pushing in as well. So yeah, it is. You should be able to make up a lot of that anyway. And Darvin should actually start most likely passing top, although you see the ping on from the Cloud Dragon and he wants to solo it. Or no, he just placed a ward down on it and wanted to make sure that Haru wasn't trying to do anything cheeky. Yep, that's that control ward over the side. Looks, Looks like he like might be wanting to spend a little bit of time towards the top of the map. And doesn't want to let that dragon go for free. Hybrid. It's combo to the Arcane ship, unfortunate. Waving that ability just a little bit. And as you can see, 
which is going to be remaining ahead by about five as this wave crashes. Well, it's actually doing a pretty decent job here underneath the turret. Had to lose out on one of those creeps. You didn't want to take too much harass, but now going for a bit of a recall. Down 12 was all that it could do is currently. Now let's see if he goes for Bramble Vest or if he goes for Ninja Tabai on his first back. It is going to be Ninja Tabai. Tab is exactly your optimal choice. I don't know how to... What is it? Tabby or Tabai? Tabai? I say Tabby. You say Tabby? Yeah, that's what I've always said. But I've, I've got an Australian accent, so we say stuff we at all. That's my excuse anyway. I'm sticking to it. Oh, he's going to land the bubble. My hand is going to turn up. Looking for the hook. Doesn't pick the right juice. Now flawless is in position. Take his Raptor Camp. No harm, no foul there from uh, Cover. Still has his flash, still has everything available. He's leading in HP so far this game. Looks like Temp is going to need his help in this lane. This is not how you want this game to be going. You want Haru to be able to focus towards the bottom side, try and get plates into this. Well, this is down here. You can see Haru moving with Temp. Try and get something done as this is going to come on over to try and help us steal away this rep up. I think this is in no for the rest of ADK. You can see they're not actually going to go for any sort of test. This area. At this point, not much really happening. Obviously, well, at least just can't find anything. And this is because of the lane dynamics. Everywhere. Yeah. She can't find a kill. The only place where she could get anything is maybe down in bot lane. Now, with Atrox having the ninja tabby, tabby, Dobby, whatever. Dubai, I think. Dubai. Ninja Dubai. The ninja boots. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got a nice shot at the high ground. Yeah, really good one. And the double play can come down. And Mia turned up to try and help him out. There's the Rappel. Aru is going to be able to help find the first blood here. He goes over to Vincer as Hybrid gets another play out from my hands. And Aru grabs that kill for himself. 2 to 0 now as I'm alive. May have just saved themselves in this game. That's the best possible thing that could have just happened for Hanwha Life is to find those kills down in bot lane. It's the most important lane for them to get advantages in, obviously, unless you could just. Hyper snowball your Lucian. Yeah. yeah. Up, up in top, top lane. And honestly, this is so peculiar. Everything. <laughs> you can see actually trying to predict. Yeah, yeah waiting for when you know going to come around the wall. Now, the only thing about that, maybe we'll see it in the replay, is. Lehen, or Mia and Hybrid had no business looking for vision over there because it's irrelevant. Yeah. So. They're located somewhere on the map that doesn't really serve a very big purpose. They end up getting punished for it. Let's just take a look at this. Look at the mini-map, they crashed in the wave. And why on earth they're here, well, we don't know. The wave is resetting down at the bottom. They don't need Cloud Dragon. Nice to jump over. Actually playing that one out very plainly. Uh, it's zoning Q. Yeah. yeah. Does now have Haru turning up. There's a build water cover to slow down the Aatrox. Avoids the cocoon very nicely. And now looks to turn it around. Lands the chain, gets the flash in a 1 versus 2 up here on top side. And this is the problem with picking the Lucian. You're either so many levels above. Your lane, lane opponent, opponent and really know, know what you're doing, doing on the pick, pick or you're, you're going, going for the ship. Yeah, yeah, well. He doesn't have teleport either, so we're not even gonna throw down Shelly here. Yeah, that's very interesting. It looks like they, like they do, do want to try and give it over to hybrid and Mia. As Temp is moving down. There's the make it rain, deal comes through from the hand. Oh, it's the juke as well. And the equalizer is Definitely a little bit wanting, but they still managed to pick up the kill. This bottom side was the focus. This was where Shelly wanted to go. But uh, not without hybrid here. They wanted to try and get him back in this game. 
definitely extremely surprising. All right, as okay. Okay. they get the flash out, which is why it does not land, but getting the flash out of the misfortune definitely more worthwhile than that of the job. So really unfortunate for EK right now. This is the one lane that should have just been so safe. Yeah, Down in bot, and it's that falling was apart. Fire, right? yeah. yeah, that was the pillar of the team composition. They just needed to make sure nothing really went too wrong. Now look at the end still coming out. Obviously, close to this Predict side of the movement. Equalizer sort of missing, but in the end, it didn't really matter. Really clean on the seven plans. Really great play. So far from him on the bottom side of the map. Certainly showing his veteran status now. Although it's a weird thing to say okay. after they've only been in for a few splits. Darwin still has Rift Yeah, yeah. Uh, he really needs to try and use that song. Hopefully, sometimes that is valuable, not when the opponent is completely fine in lane and you can't achieve anything. No, no. The LCK though, we're about to probably have a Rift Herald summon in, uh, in top lane right after the Snow Crack. He's gonna walk up and crash it onto the turret. Yep. Yeah. Sort of what I'm expecting also. 